Hello and welcome back to my channel. If not back, then just welcome. I come to you today looking a full mess because I am um, actually getting ready to go to bed. Um, but I'm doing some last minute packing because what would my life be without some last minute something? Um, I'm leaving for Houston tomorrow morning uh, to go to the Day for Night Festival, in which I will be seeing Solange for the their time this year and um, I figured why not just come on camera real quick and show you what I am taking in my travel makeup bag so this here is my travel makeup bag it it was one of those like gifts with purchase from Ulta one time and it had a bunch of stuff in it and now it's just like the perfect size for me to take all of my stuff when I travel because I only carry a carry-on <laughs> and I also like to pack light when I'm packing for trips and stuff just because I don't want to overcomplicate my makeup routine or anything like that. I keep it really really simple with my makeup in general and even more simple with my makeup when traveling so let's just go ahead and talk about what I've got in the bag. Um, so today I went to Sephora because whenever I travel I just go and I pick up some like travel size things for my skincare um just because I don't really have a strict skincare regimen of products that I use a lot so I there was some sort of sale going on where all the skincare stuff was like half off so I got this set this really cool set of a face wash a mask a moisturizer and then a mini for Rio I think that's how you say it those little silicone face brush cleanser thingies for $15 originally 30 so um here's a little Florio guy am I being too fresh am I flashing too much skin it's a disposable one so after the battery dies in it I can't like open it up and replace the battery or anything like that but um it's really cool and like if I like how this goes I might pick up a full-size Florio because I have a Clarisonic but sometimes I feel like that's a little too harsh on my skin, a little too rough and exfoliating. But these have like nice soft gummy bristles. So really interested in seeing how this works. So I've got that. And then for face washes, I have two. For makeup removing and um, AM gentle cleansing, I have the Kors Greek Yogurt Foaming Cleanser for all skin types. This one is really good for just removing makeup. And then for my second cleanse, like after I remove my makeup, I have the Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel. And this has glycolic acid in it for exfoliation, cell rejuvenation, all that jazz. For in the morning, I have the Mario Badescu Glycon Glycolic Acid Toner, just because I really, really love acids to help keep the skin renewing and rejuvenating itself and fresh and then after that then I have the uh, Ole Ol Henriksen Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. I've used this before in other little mini kits and I really like that it's like a super lightweight moisturizer perfect for layering a primer on top of because I don't want my skin to be like too weighed down with product before I go in with makeup so I like a super light moisturizer then for the nighttime I have this Claudalie um, moisturizing sorbet and this is what I use at night for a moisturizer something a bit more heavy um, than the Ole Henriksen sheer moisturizer and then for a primer I have the the Kors Greek yogurt um, priming moisturizer so this is what I would use after using the sheer transformation, but before using uh, my foundation. Which, speaking of my foundation, I will be taking my Old Faithful. <laughs> I will be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick. Whenever I go somewhere and I want to have like a full coverage look, this is always the foundation that I use. It never lets me down. It doesn't go anywhere. It's great for my oily skin. It sets all night and it looks flawless all night. So this is going to be really good considering it's going to be long days um, at the festival. And then for my concealer, 
I have my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer by Old Faithful. Never let me down. Absolutely love this. I'm also going to be taking two of my Fenty Beauty matchsticks. I'm going to be taking the contour shade and the highlighting shade. I'm not going to take the concealer stick because I already have a concealer stick and I am a one and done kind of person. I don't really plan on doing any eyeshadow looks while I'm there, but if I do, um, I can't do an eyeshadow look without starting with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and Caffeine, so that's going in the bag. I also don't like to travel with makeup that I've paid a pretty penny for, so the only eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to be taking are going to be the NYX Birthday um, palette, which has enough neutral colors and a couple of shimmer colors so that if I want to do a simple eye look, I can. And I'm going to also be taking the um, Ocalon Fire Matte Palette which is basically just the Venus One palette. This one was only $8 and this one obviously was free since it was a birthday gift. So if anything happens between TSA or them just like roughing up my bags, I won't feel like heartbroken if they get broken. I'm also gonna take just three eyeshadow brushes because I'm not gonna be doing any sort of complex looks, I already know. So just these brushes, I have a large fluffy brush, a more detailed crease, brush and then a flat shader brush. And then to buff everything all out, I'm, I bought a brand new Real Techniques Expert Face Brush because I can never have too many of these. I think this is number four or five <laughs> for me, but they are my favorite face brush. I use them every time I do my makeup. So this brand new bad boy is going to be going in there as well. This is my favorite setting powder. This is the Lottie London Ready Set Go Matte Translucent Powder in Warm Translucent. The warm is crucial um, if you have like tan to deep skin tones. This warm powder is perfect for, um, or this setting powder, powder is perfect for setting the under eye without too much of a white cast. So I'm going to take that and then um, a large elf powder brush because I only sweep, I never bake. And then to keep from looking too chalky, if that happens, here I have the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. So that's going in there too. Eyebrows, I would be incomplete if I did not have my Glossier Boy Brows. So that's going in the bag with me, as well as the JCat Beauty Volumizing Mascara. Wonderful, super great, just old fashioned mascara. No belts, no whistles, no extra fibers, no crazy brushes, just a really good volumizing mascara. Also taking some blotting sheets. I'm an oily person and it can get messy real quick uh, around these parts. For my blush, the only thing that I am taking is this Bronx Colors Intense Blush in the shade Peach. It's one of those blushes that goes with Every single, I have to sneeze. Pretty much no matter what look I do, this blush complements it. So that's going in the bag. All right, I just did a zip test and executive decision. This cannot come with me because it will not fit in the in this pouch. So it's gotta go. And then finally, I know myself. And I will probably only end up doing like a flawless base. Um, tons of mascara and bold lips. So definitely going to have to pack my Lana Lips lip balm because um, the following lipsticks are going to be pretty drying. So I have to definitely make sure I take this with me to keep my lips moisturized. Now with the outfits that I have packed, I have already coordinated a lip shade for each of the looks. So the lipsticks that I will be taking, um, it's going to be the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in Uncensored. I'm also taking the ColourPop lipstick in the shade NYX, which is a matte X lipstick. And it's just one of those, one of those deep vampy colors. And finally, I will be taking Barracuda, which is a satin matte lip from ColourPop. And it's like a um like a mauvey, dusty, rosy kind of color more on the neutral nude side and just for good measure I can't have too many red lipsticks so I'm going to throw in the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Lost which is like a like a warmer tone brown I'm sorry a warmer tone red and not as bright as Uncensored is and I think that's it 
oh no, sunscreen. And then for sun protection, I will be taking the Murad Ultra Control Mattifier with SPF 15. That is officially it. And now we're gonna do the zip close test. And there we have it. Here is my travel makeup bag. Just keeping it super simple, but it still has everything that I need in here to create a full look. If you are interested in seeing how I did my face over the next following few days, um, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, and I will leave those in the description box down below. Uh, thank you for sticking around for this super quick video. If you made it to the end of this, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you from the very bottom of my heart. Till next time. Bye, guys.